So, do you remember the first time that you saw the first Star Wars movie, or any Star Wars movie? I don't know which one was your first. Uh, I remember watching it on, on VHS. I remember all the, all the things. I can't remember the first time because it was always on, sort of, because it was one of our favorite movies as a kid. And uh, I just remember watching and marveling about uh, the different spaceships and everything felt so big and, and the story as when I started to realize the story later on, <laughs> it was just a, just a magical thing for me because uh, uh, I could imagine myself being Luke Skywalker and uh, going off on a, this adventure because I had blonde hair. So, <laughs> so I kind of identified. Exactly. <laughs> so you get the call to say you've got the job, you're going to be Chewie. And what is that like? And who did you call first when you got that call? I called my uh, then girlfriend, now fiance, and she was really excited uh, that that I'm gonna have a chance of being in Star Wars. Uh, but but yeah, when 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 I got the call that I was gonna be Chewbacca, she was with me, and we were in a parking lot in a mall, and we went home and enjoyed some some champagne uh, after that. What is the least glamorous part of, of of this job for you? When after a 10-hour shoot day, you think that you're getting off the suit. They tell you that we're going two hours over, and that, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, get ready for other two, another two hours of uh, sweating in the suit. Uh, that's that's sort of the the thing that uh, really I, I remember. Now you obviously get to talk to a lot of fans now around the world as part of this job. What is the one question that people always want to know about being inside that chibi suit? They ask if it's hot, and uh, yeah, I tell them it's hot, and uh, that also there are lots of uh, <laughs> hidden dangers. Uh, at any point, you could have a hair stuck in your eye or <laughs> or in your mouth because <laughs> it's a, it's a hairy suit. How do you pee in the suit? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I just uh, moderate my my fl fluid intake, and then if I really need to go, it's usually. Uh, I have to talk to two or three people in order to <laughs> find the time. Let's talk about the secrecy on set, because trying to keep movies like this, they're huge things, everybody wants to know about them. How tight was security on set, and how difficult was it to keep everything quiet? Uh, it, was pretty, it was pretty awesome. Like uh, The guys who work the security have been there since Force Awakens, I think, and it's, it's, been, uh, uh, it's been wonderful to get to know them, but also they, they take their job very seriously, and it's... Uh, it's a really serious business, uh, making sure that there are no leaks and, uh, and that everyone really respects that, I think. Uh, who's the biggest Star Wars fan or the biggest Star Wars nerd in the cast? I think the fan and nerd has to be a distinction between the two. Okay, if, if I'm not included in this, uh, I would say that Alden really had done his prep. And he really, because he, he wanted to know everything. And, uh, I, and I think that makes him a big fan. But I'm not sure if he would uh, he would uh, acknowledge that. <laughs> who does the best out of the cast, but obviously yourself aside from this, who does the best Wookiee voice? And when you're wearing the suit, do people come up to you and instantly do the Chewie voice? Right. Uh, nobody really tried because I think they're intimidated by how well I do it. Uh, but uh, but uh, yesterday I, I saw Woody and uh, he asked me how to do it because everybody had been asking him and I, I gave him a brief lesson and he uh, there's promise in that man. Thank <laughs> you.